Hey, yo, how you guys doing? Do me a favor before we get started on this whole thing, right? Um, subscribe, like, or hate, and share this video. Um, we're trying to get our numbers up. Thank you very much, and enjoy this broadcast. So anyway, anyway, back to our conversation. So yeah, so Boyce ends up uh, hooking up with Felicia and accepting her three children. Now I don't know the ages of these children because that's never anything that came up into the discussion. Because even though I'm, you know, when I was a young guy out here making my mark, I didn't date women with children. Not bang plenty of women that had children. But as far as taking a woman with a child on as my woman, my queen, I wasn't doing that for the reasons that I laid out earlier. But when I got older, my current wife, my wife has two sons. And I have two sons. But when me and my wife met, her sons were grown and my son was grown. So once again, we're back to that same scenario. I'm a stepfather and my wife has two children but I had no hand in that. When me and my wife hooked up it was just me and her. So again it's just like she had she had she had children but she didn't have babies. So my point being I don't know the ages of uh Dr. Boyce Watkins uh Dr. Boyce of, of, of Alicia's children. You know, if Alicia has young children, or she has children, and they're all grown, well, it's it's like she don't have any children. So again, that's never something that came up in the discussion, so we don't know. But in the case, just say for the sake of the conversation, that Alicia has uh, younger children, and Dr. Royce Rockins got to actually go in, and he got to do the work, and he got to take on the duties and the responsibilities of the children's father. Now I want to be very clear about this. That is not something that I would be. I would do. I wouldn't do it. However, if a man decides that he wants to uh, raise another man's children because he loves that woman, hey man, that's that's on him. You know, it's a good thing. If you're asking me, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. A man. That would step in and raise another man's children. He's more a man than I would ever be. And I have to take my hat off to this brother. I'm not gonna uh I'm not gonna take cheap shots at him. I'm not gonna call the man simps. And I'm not gonna in any way uh try to minimize the duty that he takes on because you know why? It takes a village to raise a child. And any man that decides that he wants to step in and take on the duties and the responsibilities of a, of another man, I mean, that's, that's commendable. In fact, gentlemen on the other side, Kevin, Duke, Mamiya, that's how it was done in the village. If a man went off the war and he died, a lot of times his brother would take on the duties and the responsibility of raising raising the kids because that is that does go a part of that doctrine it takes a village to raise a child and African Americans we are of a mixed lot anyway we are the ancestors of slaves and there were times when white men slipped down into the houses of the black slaves and had their way with men's wives. And those black guys still had to raise them children. Gentlemen, we can't we can't call these kind of guys simps. You can't make a man a simp 
due to the extenuating circumstances of having to raise the child of a white man during slavery, you fellas. We can't do that. We can't do that. What we have to do, Kevin, O'Shea, Mumia, we have to respect the right of men who want to take on the duties and the responsibilities that men like uh, Boyce Watkins took on. They're actually more men than we are, guys. Because what happens is they're displaying a level of selflessness that we're not capable of displaying. Now, I can't speak for any of you guys, but for myself, I don't mind assuming a avuncular role in the life of any young man or woman. Because as an elder, you know, that's what we supposed to do. You gotta pass on the pearls of wisdom to the youth. But again, I I, I stand firm. I, 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 I personally couldn't do what a man like Dr. Boyce Watkins does or has done. Because I just don't want those duties and responsibility because I'm too selfish and I will admit that. You have to commend men like Dr. Boyce Watkins. And you take Shaquille O'Neal. His stepfather raised him. And uh, I believe his, his stepfather was a fellow serviceman. I, I think he was an army master sergeant or army sergeant major. But Shaquille's stepfather raised him. And um, you think Shaquille O'Neal would, uh, would fancy his stepfather a simp? You know, men like uh, men like Shaquille O'Neal's stepfather, they stepped in and done the heavy lifting. Kevin, Duke, Mr. Ali, for the guys like us who who, who, who didn't want to uh, take on the task of uh, of hooking up with a sister that had children.